Good morning, everybody. Um, this is a hair story. So, I put a perm in my hair the other day, and I've been trying to unsuccessfully grow it out natural. But one of my problems with trying to grow it out natural is that um, I'm on a lot of medication, and my medication varies at different times, so it affects my hair. As you know, your hair is made up of protein. It's made up of keratin. And I have a kidney disorder and a kidney, and a kidney disorder called nephrotic syndrome, which is called by, caused by a kidney disease called minimal change disease. With minimal change disease and nephrotic syndrome, you pretty much lose the protein in your body. Your body just dumps out the protein. And that causes edema. It causes swelling all over the body. Um, I got sick in 2008. And I pretty much swell up like a balloon. Like, I swell up to the point where my eyes were swollen shut. My feet were swollen. My legs were swollen. My stomach was swollen. Everything was swollen. Um, so, um, it's been over a year since I was diagnosed. I'm currently in what they call remission. But the disease definitely affected my hair. My hair um, fell out pretty much in, like, handfuls. And thankfully, I have a lot of hair, but I lost a lot of hair. Like, my hair is really thin, um, up here on the top of my head. I've never been to the point where I can, like, look down when my hair is wet and I can see my scalp. But that's, um, what's going on right now. And, um... I've been trying to find ways to deal with it. I also have seborrhea dermatitis. I, I make too much sebum, and it's pretty much like cradle cap for adults. The sebum comes out of your scalp. When it hits the air, it just dries, and it creates like this nasty crust, and then it begins to itch, and you scratch it, and you have these gigantic flakes all over your head. And it's an ongoing cycle. It's no cure for that. You just have to use medicated shampoos and whatnot to try to rid, get rid of it. Um... But nothing gets rid of it. So I've been just dealing with a lot of um, health issues that affect my hair. And my hair can, sometimes it'll be fine, but sometimes it'll grow back. It'll be so hard and brittle. Sometimes it feels, my new growth will feel like brittle pad. Sometimes it's soft. It just, it just depends. And it just got to the point here. It's really, um, where I live, it's really humid. It's, um, it's been hot. It's been humid. And it got to the point where my hair was just unmanageable. I couldn't take any more. I put a perm in my hair. Um, also got a haircut. I don't know if you can see. It was probably, um, about to here. And my mom cut it for me. I wanted it cut a little bit shorter, but she wouldn't do it. So I got cut to about here. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been dealing with. And I take a lot of medications. I take, like, two different blood pressure medications. I take various medications. Sometimes I'm taking almost 10 pills a day. So medication definitely has side effects. All the side effects your doctors don't tell you. Some of the side effects, you know, you don't even find out until you take them because each individual is different. Um, my hair color has gotten lighter. Um, it's just um, dry. It's really, really dry. I have to keep my hair oiled. But I can't use a lot of oil on it because it affects my seborrhea. So, um, yeah, that's just what I've been dealing with. Um, trying to stay healthy. Trying not to rip all my hair out my head. Um, trying to keep it manageable. Trying to keep it healthy. And it's just been an ongoing battle with my hair <laughs> and with my health. Um, uh, right now I'm in remission, so that means that I don't have any symptoms. But it does mean that it can come back. It, it, not that I don't have any symptoms. I still have edema, but not severe edema. Like, my foot might swell some days. I have to definitely watch my salt intake. Um, I'm not supposed to have any kind of salt. Um, because salt just holds the fluid and it just makes you swell up even more. And then it also affects my blood pressure. So, um, yeah. That's just what I've been going through. So what's your hair story? What have you been going through? And if you're on medication to treat um, any kind of illness, whether it's blood pressure or um, kidney disease or um, 
any, any minimal change disease, Cushing's disease, any autoimmune disease, um, what have you been going through. Um, I don't know if any of you have noticed, if you watch some of my videos, sometimes my face looks really swollen. Um, that's from the edema, that's from the swelling. Um, if you look at some of my older videos, my face is bigger now than it was when I first started doing the videos. So it, it shrinks back and then it gets big. Um, when I was treated with prednisone, I was on prednisone for about a year. And I was on high dose for uh, three months. I was on like 100 milligrams a day for three months. And it I was on it for about nine months. And my face was like out to here. Um, so it has definitely shrunk back down some, but it's still kind of big. Um, but yeah, prednisone definitely affected my hair. It affected my weight. It affected my mood. Um, it was great for my kidneys, but it sucked for everything else. Um, but if you're on it, don't stop taking your meds <laughs> because your body needs it. So, um, yeah, let me know what you're going through. And, um, and I would love to watch your videos and know what kind of cures or remedies you have for your dry hair, your flaky scalp, um, any hair problems that you're going through. Maybe we can share. So, talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye.